Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of a classic retro hologram. This is an update of tutorials I've done in earlier versions of Photoshop. This update is more nuanced and has more control. I provided this image of an underground parking garage. Its link is in my video's description below or project files. Feel free to use a different background if you like. Just make sure it's relatively dark in order to see our hologram better. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, smash that small subscribe button at the lower right corner or the subscribe link in my video's description. Open an image that you'd like to make into a hologram. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. The first step is to separate your subject from its background by making a selection around your subject. There are many ways to do this, which I covered in prior tutorials. So, to save time, I won't be going over them here. Once you make a selection around your subject, press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy it to its own layer. Press V to open your Move tool and drag your subject onto the tab of the background. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To resize it, Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner, and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out. To reposition it, go inside the Transform's bounding box and drag it. Then press Enter or Return, or click the check mark at the top. Control click or Command click your subject to make a selection of its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. Contract it by 10 pixels, and click OK or press Enter or Return. Go back to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it by 10 pixels. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it by one pixel. This blurs your subject slightly around its edges. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. We'll convert our subject into a smart object so we can modify it non destructively. To do this, Click the icon at the upper right corner of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Name the top copy Glow, the first copy Luminosity, and the original layer Motion Blur. Hide the top two layers and change the blend mode of the Motion Blur layer to Linear Light. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. The angle is 0 degrees, and the distance is 40 pixels. Make the top subject visible and active, and reduce its fill to 0. This makes the subject in that layer invisible, but it'll retain the visibility of the layer style effects that we'll be adding to it. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Inner Glow. If the color box isn't white, click it and pick white. The blend mode is Color Dodge, the opacity is 30%, and the size is 250 pixels. Click Outer Glow and the color box. In the hexadecimal field, type in 0078FF. The blend mode is Color Dodge, the opacity is 100%, and the size is 100 pixels. Make the middle subject visible and active and change its blend mode to luminosity. 
Make the top layer active and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer above it. In this empty layer, we'll create the scan lines. Press Shift plus Backspace to open the Fill window. Fill the empty layer with 50% gray. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Halftone Pattern. The pattern type is Line, the size is 1, and the contrast is 40. We'll make the scan lines thinner. To do this, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. For its height, type in 50%. Then press Enter or Return twice. Go to View. If Snap isn't checked, just click it to make it active. Press and hold Shift as you drag the scan lines down until it snaps to the bottom of your document. Make a copy of it. Press and hold Shift and drag the copy up until it snaps to the top. Merge the two scan line layers by pressing Ctrl or Command E. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 0.5 pixels. Open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or Command click the RGB channel to make a selection of the scan lines. Open back the Layers panel. Since we have the selection of the scan lines, we can drag that layer to the trash. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. We'll make copies of the layer mask for the other subject layers by going to the layer mask and pressing and holding Alt or Option as you drag a copy of it next to the luminosity layer. Repeat this for the glow layer. We'll place all the layers that comprise our hologram into a folder by shift-clicking our bottom subject to make all the hologram layers active and pressing Ctrl or Command G. Make a copy of the folder and open the folder copy. Double click Inner Glow to see it in the Layer Style window. Click the color box and in the hexadecimal field type in 0, 0, D, 2, F, F. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Make the opacity 100% and the size 10 pixels. Click Outer Glow, the color box, and type in 607EFF. Make the opacity 80% and the size 100 pixels. Scroll to the bottom of the Layers panel and click the Eyeball icon next to the Smart Filter to hide the Motion Blur. Close the folder copy and drag it below the original folder. The reason we're doing this is because some of the effects that we adjusted within this folder interacts better when it's placed below the other folder. Reduce this folder's opacity to 70%. We'll place both of them into a main folder so we can adjust the hue and color saturation of the hologram without affecting the background. Shift-click the top folder and press Ctrl or Command G. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. We'll clip the Adjustment Layer to the main folder so it won't affect the background. To do this, Either click the Clipping Mask icon or press alt Control g on Windows or option Command g on a Mac. You can also go to Layer and create Clipping Mask. Check Colorize. Make the Hue 200 and the Saturation 100. 
I want to fade the bottom of the hologram into the ground. If you want to do this as well to your hologram, make the folder active and click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to it. Open your brush tool and brush picker. We'll adjust the size in a moment. Make the hardness 0% and the opacity and flow 100%. Then press enter or return. To make your brush bigger or smaller, first make sure your caps lock key is off and then press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Brush over the bottom of your subject to mask it out. Next, we'll illuminate the floor directly under the hologram as well as the pillars in the background to simulate light cast from the hologram. Make the background active and make a copy of it. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Levels. Clip it to the background copy. For this background, make the input highlights 107. Invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl or Command I. We'll brush in white over areas of the layer mask to reveal the brightness of the levels adjustment layer. To do this, first invert your foreground to background colors by pressing X on your keyboard. Now white is your foreground color. Adjust the size of your brush to approximately this size and brush over the bottom of your subject. To darken areas of the highlighted floor, press X again to invert your colors so black is your foreground color. Now brush over the areas you want to darken. Adjust your brush's size and brush over the pillars to brighten them. To brighten the pillars further back, reduce the brush's opacity to approximately 50% and brush over those pillars. To darken the top and bottom of the pillars, invert your colors and brush in black to mask out those areas. Next, we'll brighten the light under our hologram. Make the top layer active and make a new layer above it. Change its blend mode to overlay. Click this icon to invert your colors so white is your foreground color. Increase its opacity to 100% and adjust the size of your brush. Brush over the bottom of your hologram to brighten it. Make a copy of the layer and double click its thumbnail to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow and the color box. Type in 7585CC. The blend mode is color dodge, the opacity is 80% and the size is 100 pixels. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.